you, Deputy. I now call upon Michael Reevy. Um, because of the night that's in it, I, I, I don't propose to dwell on the motivation of a party who proposed major Gardaí Síochána cutbacks to the Troika, now putting forward this bid. And despite its provenance, despite the hypocrisy, this bill does merit support. Every member of the House recognises the important role that the Gardaí play in our communities. From everyday issues such as traffic management to the more serious concerns of crime, the Gardaí are at the forefront of our communities. Therefore, an attack on the local Garda station is an attack on our communities. I don't believe that I need to remind people of the high number uh, uh, of that number of high profile burglaries that have taken place throughout the North West recently. And these burglaries have caused a situation of panic and alarm among many residents, especially elderly people. In my own constituency of Sligo North Leitrim, it's a rural area and many of the areas are very sparsely populated. <clears throat> Many of my constituents are frightened of what the closure of the local guard station will mean for them. Every person in this country has the right to enjoy the comfort of safety. A safety that is protected by the knowledge that there is a member of the Gardaí in the local area who can be contacted in the case of an emergency. And the closure of these guard stations has removed that vital sense of security. Additionally, the invaluable local knowledge gained by a Garda living in, in, in these small towns and villages will be lost and lost forever. In my own constituency, you have a Clare, Ballyfarnan, Eastgate, Clune, Drummond, Keshkarrigan, Drummahair, Glenfarn and Cliffney Garda stations affected. All these stations are vital parts of their respective communities. The environment for the residents of the areas affected has now been changed for the worse. The Minister has claimed that the Garda station network was established because at the time Garda were on bicycles. But I pointed out to the Minister before and I repeat again, criminals are no longer using bicycles for transport either. Gangs that are carry, carry, suspected of carrying out a spate of burglaries in an area are able to move quickly from one area to another and from one jurisdiction to another with little chance of detection. A criminal gang that can carry out robberies in Sligo and Leitrim could come from Galway or Tyrone or vice versa. The Gardaí must be equipped so that they can respond to, a crime, to crime swiftly and their visual presence in an area, especially in rural areas, must be viewed as a form of deterrent for criminal gangs. There's also been a reduction in manpower available to the Gardaí. Templemore Training College has been closed for a number of years and therefore older Gardaí who have retired have not been replaced. There is a risk that the number of Gardaí active in our community could fall to dangerously low levels. The cut to allowances and overtime for Gardaí has also hindered the manpower of the force. There needs to be an adequate number of Gardaí on duty at all times to ensure that the needs of people are catered for. The criminals behind some of the current attacks on communities and indeed tax, uh, attacks on Gardaí, they are not ignorant people and to disregard them as fools would be dangerous. They are serious and clinical in their actions and they are capable of the most heinous of crimes. In all likelihood, they are monitoring this debate, Chairman. In all likelihood, they are looking at the areas where stations are being closed down. And in all likelihood, they are planning their actions accordingly. And the Minister, by ordering these closures, is putting communities at risk.